With three decades of experience of printing and embroidery, Acorn Printing have a client base including many household names and have even supplied t-shirts for the President of the United States. As the official team wear supply for Bosra, you can order from our current range at tshirtuk.com. Good morning everyone, welcome to Bosra Race Roundup. We're here today for round 7 of the 2016 Bosra MSA Skip Barber Championship. Brands Hatch Indy Circuit plays host day with some quiet skies and great track conditions. On pole this week it was so brand ahead of Tony Bird and Antonides in 3rd. Hackerson is just behind in 4th ahead of Underhill and Barry Bird. Van Delden sits in 7th with Martin Gwenicke and Phil Gregory behind him. In 10th it's Russell Barnes and Simon Jackson in 11th. Alan McCain's in 12th ahead of Ricky Green and newcomer Honey Smith's in 14th. Darren Ford in 15th ahead of David Rowland in 16th for Bentley Boys Racing. 25 cars in total on the grid this week, Scott Malcolm 17th, Chris Butchell 18th, Jan Elizabeth for Bodin in 19th, head of Ryan Walker and Ian Thorne, Jonathan Beresford for Seagate in 22nd, head of David Waldock and Martin Brandon, Francis Winnell rounds out the field in 25th for Tech Speed Racing, a 54.230, the slowest time here at Brands Hatch. The Drivers' Championship is well and truly between Sobrand and Antonides as we come towards the halfway point of the season, so let's jump on board with the pole man for his fastest lap here around Brands Hatch Indy. If you're looking to upgrade your racing experience, then head over to Bodin Solutions. They offer the first and only bolt-on load cell brake mod for Thrustmaster pedals, and the TXG27 adapter allows you to use your Logitech pedals with the Thrustmaster wheel. See the link below for more information. So Brand coming past his teammate Martin Brandon to start his fastest lap of the qualifying session. So here we are then, we're on the Brabham straight coming down towards Paddock Hill Bend. This first of all goes uphill, pointing to the left hand side of the track. Come into this corner partly blind, turn in and run it wide as you come down the hill. A very fast corner here at Brands Hatch, so wide and onto the green asphalt there. Coming up now, Halewood Hill and into Druids. The slowest corner of the track here at Brands Hatch, so through Druids now we make our way down the hill once again towards Graham Hill Bend. This left-hander then leads you onto the Cooper Straight and up towards Surtees where you would normally turn off onto the Grand Prix version of the circuit. Again running wide using as much as the track limits as you can. Foot once again flat to the floor, now as we come into Surtees it's a left-right flick and into McLaren Corner. This is the final bend, it closes up and then leads into Clark before we get onto the main straight. So hug the rumble strip on the right-hand side, let the car come out to the left as we come past the pit entrance and onto the main straight. So that is the lap here at Brand Hatch. So Brand's lap time a 52.181, only .006 faster than second place. The Synology DS216 Play is a two-bay NAS featuring 4K video transcoding and powerful processing capabilities. Complement yours with Seagate NAS hard drives for the perfect high-capacity storage solution. See the video description for more details. Drivers waiting for the green light here at Brands Hatch Indy. It is so random pole with Tony Baird in second. We're watching Martin Glenicky though, fault start for him. He moves before everybody else, so foot to the floor now, heading up towards the first corner. We do also have one driver starting from the pits, that's Alan McCain, he qualified in 12th, so he'll rejoin the race from there, catch up to the back of the pack and hopefully make up some places. We are running 40 minute races, so we're looking between 42 and 45 laps estimated, considering that each lap here is in the low 50s. So through Paddock Hill Bend for the first time then, and we'll see how this race develops. Coming towards the end of the first lap now, this is on board with Tony Bird with just Sobrand ahead of him. Sobrand absolutely flying in this championship and Tony trying to keep up as we come onto the main straight. You can see already a slight gap opening up between them. Sobrand will be looking to keep Bird between himself and Antonides. Antonides has an 18 point lead coming into this round. End of the first lap and Martin Gwenicke is straight into the pits to serve his penalty for the fault start. The leading Sport Auctions driver, another one with time to make up during this race. New driver Daniel Honeysmith was being chased by Simon Jackson and a lunge down the inside on lap number two meant there was contact. A few other cars getting involved with that, but it was Daniel Honeysmith who came off worse, rolling the car and needing repairs. Scott Malcolm and Chris Butchell, lap number four. Scott Malcolm on the inside coming through here. Russell Barnes from Motorsport Auctions just behind. Slight contact between Malcolm and Butchell. Russell Barnes getting involved. There's another accident just behind as well, so we're going to move on to that now. Focusing on Ricky Green in the first for Bowden Solutions care in this pack, it's Ryan Walker and David Rowland. A slight tap in the back from Ryan Walker from David. David then spins the care and there's a coming together between the Bowden Solutions pair. Poor old Ricky Green coming off worse once again. 
our current championship leader, Antonides, we're on board with him now. He's chasing Tony Bird in second place. So Antonides try to stay on the back of Tony Bird's car to get the draft down the main straight. He's seeing the distance the race leader, so Brand just ahead of him. So coming to complete the lap, going on to lap number five, Tony's heavy on the brakes and Antonides is straight into the back of him. I don't think he was expecting him to break that early, so to Antonides is up into second. Just seeing that incident from another angle now, so Antonides just into the back of him, like we say, just not expecting to scrub off as much speed as he did. It's a great save from Tony though, keeps the car going in the right direction and maintains it in third place. Van Delden on the back of Barry Bird, just ahead in the 822 car for Tech Speed Racing. A great battle going on just ahead for the top five positions. So Barry making a move up the inside of Simon Underhill. Van Delden has to slam on the brakes to avoid going into the back of Simon. Ends up spinning the skip barber back onto the track. So spins it round and waiting for the traffic. Decides to wait even longer and go the other way round. Van Delden dropping down the order all the time, now in 12th place. So he's dropped five from his starting position and rejoins the race. Ian Thun then drops him down another place, so Van Delden now down into 13th, but he will get the toe down here and on the main straight. We're just going to stay with him for a little bit and see if he takes the chance to make a move into the first corner. So you can see the closing speed in these skip barbers, it's absolutely fantastic. And sure enough, Van Delden up the inside into turn number one, so already picking up positions and clawing his way back up. See getting Snorgy versus Team Cotwork or Jonathan Beresford versus Martin Brandon. And Martin Brandon wins this one, a slight tap in the back. Well, Jonathan and Beresford pushes him off track. So Jonathan was running in 15th, but now getting passed by cars, including Jan Mozover for Bowden Solutions, just coming up and around the outside. So Jonathan down the order. This is the view on board with Simon Underhill. We're looking back at Ben Hackerson now, coming into turn number one. Ben is trying everything he can to keep on the back of Simon and get past him, but he does make a mistake coming into that first turn, spinning the car and putting it off track in the way of all the traffic coming past. So try to keep out the way and letting everybody else through. Here we see Ben Hackinson's off from a different view. As you see as he comes into the first corner, just loses the back end to try and make a move on Simon. Lucky not to make contact with Simon really. Then gets the tail snap and spins the car off and into the sand trap. Hackinson is another driver performing well in this championship for XL Designs. He currently sits in 10th in the standings and of course his teammate Antonides currently leads the way. Francis Lunell and Scott Malcolm for Tech Speed Racing, the red and white liveried cars here. So Scott Malcolm pulls ahead of Francis and coming into the final bend. Francis then makes a move up the inside, tags his teammate, almost spins him. Well held by Scott Malcolm there. Scott then pulls off and into the pit, so he has picked up damage from that incident. He can repair it using the quick repair. Ben Hackerson had recovered well from his earlier self-induced spin and then took the lead of the race. We're coming down the main street now, you can see the cars in the pits. That is so Brown just pulling out, so Hackerson takes the lead of the race here at Brands Hatch. The lead was short-lived for Ben Hackerson, it was then his turn to pull into the pits. That would hand the overall lead back to so Brand, and also Antonides would move up into second. Money Smith for Acorn Printing about to make one of his scheduled stop but an unsafe pit entrance there, cutting across the green line would mean a penalty for him as well, so not a good start for Acorn Printing or Honey Smith in this championship. Lap number 27, Martin Brandon was currently sat in 20th, he'd moved up four places during the race, that's Daniel Honey Smith just behind, slight wobble from Martin, he went off track for an excursion across the grass and rejoins the track so normal racing is resumed for Martin but that slowdown would allow Simon Underhill to catch him from behind he's about to come into your picture now here he comes Simon has already lapped Martin and try to get past as quickly as possible perhaps a bit too impatient from Simon though he's then a tagging in the back from Simon Martin's teammate David Waldock also getting caught up in all of that so both cars getting heading in the right direction rejoining but as you can see severe damage to Martin's car point sideways across the track so Martin trying to coax it back and into the pit lane. This is Alan McCain for Bowdoin Solutions, he'd had a fantastic race, don't forget he started from the pit so he's currently sat in 14th, he'd moved up 11 places overall, chasing Jonathan Beresford to get past him, Jonathan almost a lap down, then a nudge in the back from Alan, another driver slightly too early in the brakes, not having brake lights on these skip barbers does make it difficult to judge so, so Alan pulls past. So Brands off in the distance on lap number 39, this was the battle for second, Antonides and Tony Baird. Tony Baird not giving up without a fight, Antonides leaving the door open as we come into Druids. A slight slide from Tony as we come through here, fantastic racing from both drivers. 
So Brand had made his pit stop and Antonides had moved up into the lead of the race, but then it was role reversal, this time Antonides pulling into the pits, and as So Brand comes across the line to start lap number 43, he would take the lead of the race once again. Here is our race winner then, all the pit stop strategies working out for Sobrand. Ian Thorne's had a spin though for Motorsport Auctions. Sobrand coming through the final corner, lucky not to get caught up in that because that would have cost him dearly. So that is it, another win here at Brands Hatch for Sobrand. That will close the gap at the top of the driver's standings. So let's go to the results and see how it affected it overall. Motorsport Auctions are the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts, transporters and associated equipment. With competitive pricing on all types of membership, list your items now at motorsportauctions.com. The end of round 7 here after a great race at Brands Hatch. So it was so Brand who took the win from Antonides in 2nd, then it's the Baird Brothers 3rd and 4th for Tech Speed Racing. Jackson finished 5th ahead of Underhill and Van Delden, Ben Hackerson in 8th ahead of Phil Gregory and Martin Gwenicke in 10th. Darren Ford's followed by Chris Butcher and Ryan Walker, Alan McCain's 14th, Russell Barnes 15th and David Wardock 16th. To the second half of the results, it was Jan Malazovic ahead of Jonathan Beresford and David Rowland, newcomer Honey Smith in 20th, Brandon 21st, Lionel 22nd, Scott Malcolm finished 23rd, Ian Thorne 24th and Ricky Green, poor old Ricky Green, 42 laps down, he retired early for Brendan Solutions in 25th. In the overall driver's standings, it's tight at the top with only 12 points in it. Neil Bamber sits in third ahead of Simon Jackson and Phil Gregory. Underhill is up one into sixth. Van Delden also up one. Ben Hackerson is in eighth. Tony Bird, he's a big mover this week. He's up five places into ninth. Darren Ford stays in tenth with David Waldock dropping fourth into eleventh. Chris Patrol is followed by Martin Gwenicke and Barry Bird. Matt Talaya is in 15th, he's dropped 4 and Alan McCain in 16th. The bottom half of the driver's standings looks like this. Alan Pearcy 17th, Russell Barnes 18th, Ian Robson for Bentley Boys in 19th and then it's the Bowden Solutions pair of Moesver and Green. Ian Thorns in 22nd, Scott Malcolm 23rd, Andrew Whitehead, we haven't seen him for a while for XL Designs in 24th, Brian Larson here and started one race, I believe it was at Donington Park for Acorn Printing, he's followed by his teammate Ryan Walker in 26th. Martin Brandon's 27th, David Rowland 28th, JB is in 29th, followed by Francis Winnell and Sean Burnside. Gary Bradshaw, the last of the Motorsport Auctions outfit, in 32nd. Honey Smith also records his first points with Bosra, but it's not enough to get him onto the leaderboard yet. We'll have to wait till next week. So let's see what effect this has on the overall team standings. Well, XL Design still lead. They have a 39 point lead over Seagate and Synology. Team Clock Rook are in third ahead of Bentley Boys Racing. Motorsport Auction sit fifth. They are eight points ahead of Bowden Solutions with Tech Speed Racing on 152. Last but not least, it is Acorn Printing, a really disappointing event for them. Not too many drivers turning out, but Simon Underhill is leading the way as they try and make their way back up. That's it for round 7, we're off to Summit Point Raceway next week for round 8, we'll hope you'll join us for that. Thank you ever so much for watching as always and we'll see you again soon, bye bye.